Hi friends, Amy Love here and I had a little crafty time tonight and so I thought I'd take you along with me. I'm going to make some 3x3 three three note cards because I always am in the need of note cards for swaps and happy mails and things like that. So I like to kind of have a stash um, and I don't. I'm completely out. So I thought these little images from Doreen were beautiful and we are going to just make some little note cards. So I want to tell you what I'm using. These cards right here came uh, out of the Biscotti Silk Couture Kit, one of the ephemeras. Gorgeous. I love these. So I'm using those. I'm also going to use some of the bows from the Biscotti Silk Couture Ephemera Kit. They're cute. I already got some uh, cut out and inked. And I'm also using Biscotti Silk Cafe Kit Ephemera. These little beautiful little flowers. And I already uh, cut them out and inked around them. They're so cute. And these I inked around and I sewed um, around. And I'm probably going to cut these off uh, for the note cards. Normally I leave those on, but I don't think those are going to work for the note cards. I think that would just be silly. So let me clip those off. It's a beautiful day here in Maine today. It's a little warm. I am ready for fall. I am a fall and winter girl, and that's the truth. And it was cool last week, and I was all excited, and then it got hot again. But it's supposed to cool off tomorrow, and I think that's it. I think it's going to remain cool, and I couldn't be happier about it. You know, I am a southern girl, but um, once you spend your life in the south, you get over that heat and humidity. At least my rheumatoid arthritis was over it, i got to tell you. It's very much triggered by humidity, so Maine has been amazing for my arthritis pain. All right, I got those snipped off. I went ahead and cut um, the 3x3 three three note cards, and then I inked the front. And I want to layer up. I actually shrunk these down. Mm, I think I did a 75%... Uh, on my printer because I knew I wanted to have room to put things behind it and I am using I pulled out a bunch of stuff from one of Doreen's uh, kit club kits because I thought this would be perfect to use up some of those and I love this is one of my favorite pieces from the last kit club kit that I got I absolutely love it so I'm going to use this on some of these. Let's just see. And I really want the things to be shabby, so I'm not going to be cutting things straight, and it's not going to be within the construct of the card. It's going to be hanging off the card, because that's how I like it. <laughs> see, I love it already. But I also think I want to put... Um, some music paper man I should have got my fan out it really is warm tonight this is Thursday when I'm doing this and I didn't have to cook dinner tonight so I had time to craft my husband um, wanted to take a friend from work to dinner and I was invited of course but I was like nah because sitting around talking about work, their work, it's not really um, <laughs> a good time for me. Like, it's hard for me to participate in the conversation because I am not a stonemason by trade. So I was like, why don't you guys go and I'll make myself a little salad and I will get in some crafty time. So, yay! I really felt like it would look better um, inked than not inked so inking is what we're doing I'm just gonna kind of pop that here and that will hold that in place I'm just using hot glue because I'm just doing really quick yes I love it already look 
it's so cute. Like, this is going to be an adorable little note card. All right, do I want to put some lace? I think I do want to put some lace across the top. Yeah, yep. That is cute. Get my little scissors. I mean, I don't mind going to dinner, but I did go to lunch with a girlfriend today, so I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Oh, so cute. These images, Doreen, I love them. I just love them. They're so shabby and cute. All right, are we gonna do the bow or the flower? Let me see, I have, where is that little lace? Which I think is so pretty that was in uh, my last Kit Club kit. I'm gonna put a little piece of it behind. Um, yes, please. Isn't it cute? I love her Kit Club kits. There's always so many fun little things to play with. Love. And that is going to go right. Um, yes, that is super cute. All right, so voila, we already have one totally cute little three by three note card. I really want to put a bow. So I think after I get these made, I probably will go back and add a bow. I'll see if I have some in my stash or I might just make a couple. But cute, right? Cute, cute note card. Okay, so there's one. Let's do another one. Maybe for this one, we will put some of this in the background. Also was in one of the Kit Club kits. I don't know which one though, y'all, but it's cute. And maybe we'll put this along the bottom. Sure. Love it. Okay. So I want that sticking off the top a little bit. I want this sticking off the bottom a little bit. Very cute. And I do have this tissue paper that was in one of the Kit Club kits that has like the splatter on it. It's just so cool. And I kept the little <laughs> pieces I had of it because I was like, you know I want to layer that on something else. So I think I'm going to put that there plus some music paper. Oh, there goes my phone. I have this, this music paper was not in my Kit Club kits, but I believe that this came from the, the Kit Club kit, this dark one. And I think I will see if I can ink that up a little bit. I mean, you can barely see it, but you can see it enough that it makes just the right difference. I like to ink the things lightly and I am really loving this tea dye right now. I swear I'm using that on everything at the moment. It's my favorite. Well I have seasons and this season I am into the tea dye. So I'm gonna put that right there. Yes and let's glue Oh, so cute. Okay, which card do I want to use? Oh, they're all so fabulous. Did you just love that? Do I want something on the side? Maybe I want some of this on the side. I think I do. Just so cute. There we go. 
can't craft too late tonight because I have to work tomorrow. Mm. Having a full-time job really, really interrupts my crafty time. <laughs> I gotta pay those bills though. Okay, I'm gonna put it off to the side a little bit and I'm gonna put the bow or the flower over here. Okay. And these are printed on the back, but look at the color difference. Something was wrong with my printer. So I couldn't use that much better. I still think they're not quite as beautiful as Doreen has made them. I think my printer is just acting up, but we're just gonna have to go with it. Now, do I want a bow? Or do I want a flower? I think if I use the bow, I'm gonna come back and put some bling in the middle of the bow, maybe with stickles or maybe a piece of bling. I don't know, I have not decided. I haven't got that far in my design process, but I definitely want something. Do I want more of that? Yeah, I kind of do. I like this a lot. Well, I didn't use any of the gold, so why don't we put piece of that this gold netting behind that bow I think that is just the layer we need right there yes all right let me all right look how cute these are so cute and then a little bling in the middle of the bow will be perfect Oh, I'm loving these. These are so, so cute. So cute. Okay, so we got two. We're get, getting things done. All right. What do we want to put back here? Oh, and I have this fun little um, fiber from Doreen that I've been using in everything. And Doreen, I'm going to basically need a whole skein of this because I love it. <laughs> I've been putting it on all the things. Do I want to put this? In the background I also have this fabric from the first kit club kit that I got that I absolutely love it's the fabric I used on the cover of the last journal I did it's so stinking cute and I think it wants to be in the background yes yes it does I'm very much of a just lay it down and then I either like it or I don't. And that's how I design the things. And I like that right there. Maybe with some of this on the bottom. I think I'm going to put this on the bottom first. Oof. I'm about to run out of this though. <sighs> that's all that's left. Oh man. All right, so let me go ahead and stick this down. And I think I'll come and stick it down just a little bit better than that. There we go. And then this guy. Mm-hmm. Love it. Oh, blue strings everywhere. Let me get you. Okay. Nice. Do we want to do some music paper? Or do I want to do some of this? I love this. Oh, I just love it. Okay. I'm not going to worry about making that side straight because really it's going to be underneath an image so it's not going to matter too much. What else? We need something, something, something. Something, 
so I'm gonna have this pretty lace was also in the kit do I want to do something like that making the layers to me is so fun I love love making the layers yeah I like that let's go with that um, okay let me <laughs> glue down one thing at a time all right it's so cute and then this guy right there i think yeah mm, i hope you guys are all doing well today this probably won't be up until Friday. And oh, I have seen some really inspiring YouTube videos lately. I'm excited. And when I try the things, I'll be sure to link the uh, ladies who inspired me. But have you guys seen anything inspiring lately? I'd love it if you would share it with me. I am about sharing the inspiration. Okay, that is so cute. I think I want to use this guy. I just love the layers. It's too cute. It doesn't need anything else behind it. Let me go ahead and glue that down. It's taking a adorable. Okay. Am I going to use, I think I'm going to use one of the flowers, but I want to add some of this yummy, yummy fuzzy stuff behind it. Ugh, I just love this fuzzy stuff, Dory. <laughs> the gold fuzzy fibers are just really making me happy. I'm gonna be sad when I'm out, really. Okay, let's see if I can, how do I want this to go? This way. Right? So cute. Don't you just love that? I love it. So just like that, in less than 20 minutes, I've got three adorable note cards. <laughs> so I will make sure to put a link below to Doreen's Etsy store and um, a link to her Facebook group. If you're not a part of that, we're doing a lot of fun stuff in there. So come over and check it out. And I'll also put a link to all of the members um, on Doreen's design team because really there's some amazing, talented ladies and they have just done some really beautiful things. So um, be sure you go and check them out and leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye everybody.